oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. <gasps> oh, oh, well, <laughs> um, hi, uh, it's me, your dark and spooky femboy. Oh my gosh, I was so excited, I forgot what I'm supposed to say. <gasps> Darkest times about making the most of a bad situation. You are not ex expected to succeed on your first expedition or even your tenth. Heroes will die, failure will abound, and the world will seek to smother your flame. Take heart. Do not relent. Press forward through the encroaching gloom. Gloom. Aww. And face your fears. Redemption at last can be found deep within the icy depths of... Darkest Dungeon. <laughs> oh, I love the first game. The first Darkest Dungeon, honestly, is one of my favorite games ever. Um, it's a very different game than the ones I usually play. I do like challenging games, like Darkest Dungeon, but um, it's almost like a roguelike, is that what it's called? I don't know exactly, but definitely a different genre than what I typically like to play. And I just, I don't know, this thing's just so addicting and fun about it. I love the customization, I love the story, I love the eldritch-like things in it, and I just... It's just such a fun game, and honestly, I'm really excited, because honestly, I didn't even know this one came out. Like, I didn't know at all. I just heard news like, hey, Darkest Dungeon 2 is out, it's in early access. I'm like, is there a second one? So I was so excited, and honestly, this came out in October, and it's a pretty spooky game, so I think it's perfect for Bor Borkoween this year. Um, I almost forgot what it was called. Anyway, I will go quiet. It looks so good. See, it's so spooky. It's so dark and gloom. It's gloom. How they, it's, that's not how you pronounce gloom, is it? That's not pronounce spell. <gasps> Ooh! Ruin has found you at last. Okay, good. I, I was wondering whether I had to put some on. My, my protege. My friend. Our calculations were correct. The ephemeral equation is unbalanced. The Earth spins on a strange and terrifying new axis. And everywhere, Ooh. unbridled consequences. I love how the art style is still, the like, the world is a wasteland of failures. I know, I, I've seen the. Oh, oh, and yet, okay, oh, oh, oh. you must ride out into it, unafraid. Take this. It is hope, the very last of it. It is yours now. You were bold once. Be bold once more. Free yourself from this suffocating stillness. It always starts in like this carriage, and horizon. I bet if it's like the sec the first game, it's gonna and face like it the fucking wrecked, and then we're gonna have to walk from the wreckage. Of the darkest dungeon. Oh, he said it. He said the thing. So, oh my gosh, I'm honestly, what was I saying? I forget, honestly, I'm sorry, I'll play it comes back up. Also, my hair looks like an absolute, like, shit show. It's so, like, it looks like a tumbleweed. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's been a really long day, and my, this, um, headset does weird things to my hair, so I'm sorry. Um, oh, complete your confession? <gasps> What's that? I hereby acknowledge and accept the fullness and severity of my mistakes. Denial? I guess denial, right? I don't have any more. Is the cinematic what we just watched? Yes, it is. Okay. Um, oh, that's a cool little, like, icon for that. Okay, so, denial. I, so, what are, what's the other options? I don't even know. Um, what does that say? Re something captives? Gosh, I feel like such an idiot. I'm sorry. Um, so, oh, there we go. Coward in your crumbling denial. Long enough. I love the narrator. The narrator in the first game was always so iconic. Oh, am I supposed to like oh is this like my like my HUD world? Like shadowy heroes, enemies, 10%. Oh, that's cool! So is it my maybe oh flame? The stage coach. Okay, so the sage coach, sage, blah, blah, blah. the sage coach carries the flame, which is the last hope of the, for the world. It will gradually diminish as you try, but various actions carry fill it. 
The lower it gets, the harder things will be for the party. Do not let the flame expire. <gasps> and then, um, let's see, stage coach, press C. Okay, so this is tutorial stuff. Let's see, bring up the stage coach view. This shows what upgrades are currently installed. Upgrades will be changed at the Wainwright, who was presented at each end. When the flame gets below, oh, I love the way that looks. It looks so good. Things start to get significantly more dangerous for the heroes. Monster get, monsters get combat bonuses, and their increased chance that the battle modifiers will further increase the monster's power. When the flame reaches zero, the heroes are ambushed by fiendish cultists. If the heroes survive the fight, then the expedition will continue with the tiny flicker of flame still alive. That's cool! Okay. So, which one did it say was for the stagecoach? Gosh, I'm such an idiot. Oh, 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 there we go! Oh my gosh, it's 3D! I thought everything in this game was 2D, but I could ride in this cute little coach! The crossroads. A place between places. Ooh. Very sort of existential with fa failure, regret, disgrace, loathing. You know what that reminds me of a bit? It reminds me a bit of poker. Oh my! So this game isn't 3D! Face all the way top, but it looks so good! I love the way it looks! Oh, Hellion Runaway! Oh, that's a new class! Jester, Leper, and Occultist, and then four locked boys um, who are unknown. I heard that this game is going to be adding more, um, what's it called, characters as it goes on. Um, and so that's why right now we only have, was it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine different heroes to choose from. Um, ooh. Now, oh, okay, so I'm assuming we um, only have these four to pick from, which is still very cool. Oh, they look so good! <gasps> okay, so let's see. How, now how in, oh, oh wait, I'm so stupid. This is where the party goes. So actually, there's probably going to be way more new, he more heroes introduced than these. That's really cool. Okay, so um, typically, now, again, I am shit at this game, even though I've played it a couple times. Oh, yeah, so you can see his little abilities. Now, from what I've experienced, when I've had a man at arms before, I would typically put them at the front. Pride. Ooh. More devastating than the horrors of a hundred campaigns. Ooh. Then, um, Highwayman, I usually put second. Oh, is it Dis- It is Dismas! <gasps> Because, okay, if you haven't played the first one, you start with a Crusader, which is like a knight, and then a Highwayman, which is Dismas. And I noticed the Crusader, it doesn't look like they're included, so it's probably going to be one of the classes that are added later. Um, but honestly, that's super cool that Dismas is in this. Dismas is in this. Hunted. Harried. A fugitive seeking to outpace the past. Ooh. So then, now let's see. Typically, I play both... I th okay, so I think the Plague Doctor works better. Let's see. They, t they work better in the back two. What about the Grave Robber? Which also, I just want to say the Grave Robber is... The Grave Robber and the Leper are my two fav or two of my favorite classes. Well, I f okay, I'll just say. Also, I want you to tell me what your favorite classes are from Darkest Dungeon if you've played the first one before. Um, so the f my two favorite classes, like gameplay wise, um, is probably the occultist, um, and the leper. And then my two favorite, like aesthetic wise, I would say is the grave robber. And then maybe like, um, oh gosh, um, maybe the jester. Maybe I felt like I have a really strong second one I really like, but oh well. Um, so I'm gonna. It seems like a lot of it, her abilities work as long as she's in like the top, like the first like three of the ranks. You can't see it. I'm like putting it, like squinching it, but you can't see it. Also, I will try and explain how this game works Avarice as best as I can. Unseen into the catacombs of the mind. Um, because it is definitely kind of a different kind of like indiscriminate like, science. Game stains the surgeon's hands like i don't know if i would say this is an rpg it kind of is it's definitely turn-based um i'm really not too sure what it'd be called but i am just so used to darkest dungeon being entirely 2d with all very hand-drawn things Ooh. and let us hope enough yet remains of the oh, world you stay in the wagon that's different supplies this way 
if you can make it. Ooh, here we go. Is there any downside to running into the leaf piles? Because if not, which well, yes, the academic's cachet. Let's see. In crisis, no gain is insignificant. Ooh, I got some stuff. Pouch of lie. Combat item. Stimulants. Playing cards. Ooh. Affinity. What's affinity? Is that something new in this game? Um, valuable trinket. Ooh, blood resistance. Strong. Ooh, and relics. I'll take them all. Thank you. Why does a little lovely little turn of events that day? I don't know. I should. I, I'm assuming there aren't voice like the last game, so maybe I should I give them all voice. I remember our first voices. meeting on the steps of the <laughs> university. <laughs> I'm, I'm not the used to this, so I'm, I'm like you can enjoy it. Would doom us both. Oh my goodness, that doesn't look very good. Oh, they're people, the desperate few. Oh, oh, what? Wait, assist us. Oh, oh my gosh, what is this? What is this? Little kind folk united the banner of the light. And then down there, it's like, are we giving them food in light, maybe? Oh, thank God. Okay, during encounter sessions, I'm sorry, this is so much different than the first one. I got legit got like confused. During encounters such as this one, heroes will voice opinions on the course of action. You must choose one of their wishes. Click and hold on a choice to select it. The result will be previewed at the bottom of the screen. Okay, that makes sense. Um, so there's also a view at the bottom of the screen. Okay. Um, then, cool beans. So now because of the way that my um, voice recorder is on, I can't select the plague doctor. So I'm sorry, but I can't hear what she says. So Audrey says, we locked the way for more than merely us now. <laughs> um, oh, are we taking them in with us on the stagecoach? That's so cute. It looks like all of them give the same rewards. Um, press alt on the choices for more info. Where's that? Oh, press alt, like the key. I'm so stupid. Um, food reward of flame. Okay, so they all have the same. It's on to us, carries a torch, and it's a long road. All kinds of unite under the banner of the light. Uh, well, I should get the voices right. I mean, <laughs> let, let's just be stupid. So, Baris Baristan is our man at arms. The all kinds folk unite under the banner of our light. Probably. And then it's on us to carry the torch, and it's a long road. Uh, or maybe it's like a cow is like, if I don't know it's the carrot the torch. I don't know. It's undecided. Um, I will get. I, I like to let um, Baristan. Barista. I like what he said, so let's go with his. Let's see. How do I select it? I feel like I'm said. Oh! Oh, you hold it! In it crisis, no gain is insignificant. Slime mold. It starts 10 HP. Blocks by fussy eater. I think not eating slime is not that fussy. <laughs> so I got some more flame. Thank you so much. And so do we take them on with us? They were positively filthy. You're literally a grave robber, Audrey. So I feel like you're one of the last people to judge. This is so cool. I love it. Like, oh my gosh. It is just not what I was expecting. I was expecting like the same, like the first one, but I know I've seen that, that the now that I know their models, but I thought the you can original feel it. a change in the air. I thought the original like art piece ooh, ooh, um was like the art itself was hand drawn like before it was a two D. I was not expecting three D with hand drawn on the models. It is a I adore the art better. style. It's so pretty. <laughs> you see. Even your valley. <gasps> Here's the fight! I was assuming so they're just really smooth. Are those No, they are 3D, I think. Um okay, so Dismiss it goes first. Oh my gosh, it looks so good at doing that! I haven't played Darkest Dungeon in so long. Um okay, so let's do a let's take aim do again. Does it can I let's see self that and that remove that. Um I'm just going to take a, take a shot. Oh, it looks so good! Here's the shot. Woo! Okay, so Audrey, kick to the face, thrown dagger, fl flashing daggers, poisoned. Now, this hits both of them, but only the two that are in the middle. Okay, so maybe I should explain how the combat in this works if you never played. And I hope I don't make 
a really bad explanation for it because my brain is soup because it's like three in the morning. But basically, um, there is like four slots that you can put your like your hero in, and their their moves can only essentially hit people in certain slots, almost like range. Like for example, pick to the face hits it can only hit the two um, enemies on like the the closest two slots. And so, um, and she can only do this if she's in the closest three slots, if that makes sense. If she's not, then she can't use pick to the face anymore. So it's all about keeping them in range. And so when you assemble your party, you want to try and make sure that the range, like that, that your team complements each other and that the, the range that they need to be in is like, is where you place them. <laughs> I know that's only a bad explanation for it, but that's kind of the gist. Like, okay, so for example, I'm going to try and do, um, let's do, I don't think if I poison them, it's going to do anything because I think they're basically like zombies. I'm going to do pick to the face. Ooh, and I'm going to, I'm going to hit, I'm going to take out the lost one. Ooh. Let us hope to finish okay. this quickly. Okay, um, now the grave robber, noxious blast and ounce prevention. Ounce prevention seems like it gives you resistance, which is pretty nice. Um, now I can't use any of her combat moves because as you can see, she's not in the right space. Like she would have to be in any of the first three slots, but she's in the farthest back. So she can't use incision blinding gas or battlefield medicine but you can still use noxious blast and also pre ounce of prevention so i'm gonna try to use noxious blast and see what happens Ooh, and i poisoned them chomp out that is oh and also a very important thing in this game is stress stress i would say is almost even more important than health because health i hear this game it just regenerates Either that or it's just easy. Even in the original games, it's like you get your health back essentially when you beat a, like a level um, or like an area. Um, and s basically here, um, oh my gosh, the stress only is 10 spaces. Like before it was 100. And what happened is when you hit maximum stress, your character will like get like a panic attack. Um, hopefully it doesn't happen. Um, and then once they have that, then they'll get a random, like, like, um, kind of like a personality trait of sorts that's, like, stress-related. Like, maybe they'll become, like, a clep- I don't- actually, no, it's not- I don't exactly remember a lot of the, the stress, like, um, like, punishments it gives you, but maybe we'll end up seeing one! So let's see, okay, I'm gonna just use- so Crush will knock them back, but I probably don't want to do that. I think we could just crush it. I don't think that it's going to deal to be too much more. It looks so By good. The past, we learned to Ooh, face look at the those future. victory poses! Oh, we got many minor sacrificial hosts, relics, and slime molds. Nice. So I'm going to play for Push a bit longer. I don't want this video to go on too resupply, long because, you. like I said, it is like three in the morning and I do have to work tomorrow, unfortunately. But if you do like it, I would love to maybe come back and try it like, a little bit more. Oh, is that it for this level? Is that the inn? Why are we going to the mountains? Because it seems like that's very much uh, like a present Rest point. Now for a time. Oh my gosh! There's like, there's like, this is like a dating sim no it's not quite like that but it seems like they you could now have like friendship with your fellow hero so um barista which is our man at arms and audrey which is our grave robber became our friendly that's nice and our grave and barista and dismas became our friendly which is awesome and they reached the torch and crown cool Oh, look at them! Oh, they're just vibing! That's so cool! And you can see sort of their... I wonder if these, like, the poses and stuff change depending on how much stress they have or, like, what their health is at or something like that. Ooh, Mastery Trainer. One learns quickly when survival Okay, so it. if I remember from the last game, you can you could kind of improve your individual skills. Um, and yes, you can do that. Um, but I think, okay, and so this is your currency you pick up from, like, your little, like, vacation trips. Like, your little trips out in the, like, little areas. You could kind of, like, relics, mastery, and baubles. 
And, okay, it doesn't say how much these cost. Um, like, for example, let me say, let me improve Crush. Oh, zero. Oh, so maybe this was saying how many we have. Oh, it's either that or it's, no. I think it's, like, it tells you how many you have available, maybe. I don't know. Don't quote me on anything. Planning and mindfulness. As vital to survival as sharpened Ooh. steel. Pet? <gasps> There's pets in this game. <gasps> I just want they will ha have one of the, like the little mosquitoes from the first game and just have it as like a little baby. That'd be so cute. So you, I know you could upgrade your stagecoach. Ooh, strongbox. Oh, you can't. So coach upgrade, increase stacking for relics. There we go. Oh, it adds a little chest. That's so cute. Um, let's see. What else do we got in here? Oh, and you can change the name! That's so cute! Listen. Okay, practice, so... Is improve. it... I can't do anything else here. Um, Each and select improvement. Rate. Okay. A new Ooh. variable in the equation Brave of your calling fate. calling Nathan afraid, and our reward is a storage trunk. If we go to Blood Moon in the Light, our reward is hope. What is hope? I think hope is must be a new mechanic then, right? And provisioner fair, but fairly priced. is so you could buy things here. And typically here would be because I the coach in the last game. Oh, which is maybe what? No, the sage coach in the last game was basically a place you could go and recruit new heroes. But maybe I haven't recruited any yet. So here I am going to do one the more and like area kingdom, and then I am going to maybe call it but I'm going to try one more okay so let's select our party so hey hey buddies can I select you okay do it as embark journey onward yes Ooh, I wonder if it fills up with everybody that you're going to get in the party that's so cool <gasps> what cut scene the flight <laughs> I have no idea how to pronounce that. Ooh, the it's fleshy. Grows unchecked and abhorrent. Oh my gosh, there! Okay, so in the last game, it kind of showed you a map of all the different routes you could take. And oh my gosh, this area is massive! <gasps> and this is one of the first areas that's stupid! Okay, so we have bright light right now, so... Which is nice. So let's go... This is so cool. I love this game so much. Oh, we get to, Where do we go? Unknown, unknown, unknown. Resistance encounter rewards power wealth reduces loathing. Onward, while there is still. Let's just go straight on ahead. Ooh. <laughs> I forgot my camera's there, so I just went like that. What if it's all for? Wait, what if it's all for nothing? Ha, huh, tell us another. Ooh. So, is there any punishment for running over like the little like decorations there? I am not entirely too sure. I somehow feel like squishing me isn't perfect. The Towering Feast. That looks like ham. <gasps> oh, Plague Eaters. They lay bare. They lay, they lay bare their vulnerabilities. Okay, so it looks like if we do this, it'll go into a battle. Now, what is that icon down there supposed to be? Combat vulner. Oh, make them vulnerable. There's blood to spell. We oh, I haven't talked to him. Let's see if can smite. That's horrible. Just, we can smite them. I'll just do it kind of like that. And with the way that my thing is, I can't see what the Grey Rock wants to say. But it seems like if I do Barista, then um, at the very least, um, they'll be vulnerable. So let's do that one. This is so different, but I'm not against it at all. Like, it looks really pretty. Wait, look at that creature! Oh my gosh, it looks so gross. I love the horror element of Darkest Dungeon too. It's honestly, I think, what makes it so one of the things that makes it so cool. Um, okay, let's do. So, B Wicked Slice has a ignores twenty percent blood resistance. Um, let's do Pistol Shot because this the Lord seems like bad business. So let's see if we could maybe take out the Lord as quickly as possible. Ooh, it's so smooth. Like, in the last game, it just be like a frame of him, them shooting. Oh, you can see my schnitzel. <laughs> a frame of them shooting, and then that would be it. But this, you can see, like, the whole drawing animation and stuff like that. It's very cool. 
No, actually, I could demonstrate flashing daggers because it hits two people at once. So I'll try it. Nice, nice. Oh my god, they can eat the goat. It says fodder, consumable by other plate eaters. That's so gross. Also, it's vulnerable. So maybe let me do defender, which for oh my god, oh, I could zoom in and see like all the resistances and stuff. So I take 50% less damage if I do Defender, and since he's the very front, it means that he's most more likely to get hit. I'm gonna do that. Oh, and then do I? Oh, and then I protect somebody. Who's our Swishy boy? Um, considering the fact that technically the Plague Doctor is the healer, I'm gonna protect. Okay, so Blinding Gas might be. Oh, and it hits the back too. So maybe I could. Do I want to do Blinding Gas or do I want to? Do Let's do blinded gas and let's see if we could maybe blind the lord. Yes, we did. They're blind. Tongue lashing. Ooh, gross. Okay, so they got moved forward. Headbutt. Ow, that hurt! That hurt really bad. Carve. Ouch. Okay, thankfully he resisted the bleeding. So that's really good. Block, take 50% damage. Oh, that's nice. So he blocked. So we got some blocking going on. Um, okay, so Audrey. Uh, poison daggers could be good, so we could poison. Or should we try and... Hmm, if I do flashing daggers, we could hit two more, but it doesn't do that much damage, unfortunately. Um, and, oh, she could heal herself. Should I try and maybe do some slow healing? Let me try poisoning Lord. They resisted. Okay, that's not great. Um, take aim, track me shot. Okay, so take aim. What's take aim do? Can I see? Take aim, crit, next guy has 100% crit! <gasps> and 50% chance to dodge, 50% chance to miss. That's actually really good. I would do take aim. Um, and then that's really good. Okay, so I'm gonna have him. What does Bolster do? Bolster, take 50% damage from next hit. Aaron Takes 50, and then the target takes 50% damage for their next hit. That's really good. I'm going to do Bolster. Oh, maybe I read that wrong. It's okay. I'm, I'm still, I'll, I'll stick with it. I'll stick with it. Um, noxious Blast. I might throw a Noxious Blast. Um, let's, let's throw it at... Let's try and get rid of... Let's poison this. Okay. Yes. Okay, they're poisoned. Yikes! Oh, they're bleeding! Oh, but it only did six damage. But oh, the this miss is really. Oh my god! Did it eat some of the go? It did eat some of the go. Oh, and then they got more strength. Um. Okay, I have to heal Dismas. Should I swap with Dismas? But then I don't think he could shoot. Um, I'm gonna leave him in there for right now, which is probably my last words. <laughs> um, let's see. What should I do next? Is there any flashing daggers? I know it doesn't do that much, but I just really like the idea of hitting two people at once. Sorry I tried that. Um, okay, so you're still bleeding. Um, what's Rampart do? So yeah, they go forward one, which they already are, but that'd be good if they got knocked back. And they knock back a target, so maybe we can knock back the Butcher. So, okay, that's good. Okay, so, and then can I heal? Balfour Medicine, yes. Okay, so I'm gonna heal just. Wonderful. Um, now that you have your. It's gonna absolutely crit. Let's shoot something. Let's shoot the Lord. Oh, it's a 10! That's good! Nice! Nice! Uh, yeah, I, uh, he's, he's deep by me. Just like, oh, it's like Batman. Oh, did he eat that goat? He's eating that goat. Okay, so back up to the front. You're almost dead. Stop hitting Dismas. I'm, I might have to have the man at arms, Barista, guard Dismas. Um, gosh. Okay, so I'm gonna have to heal Dismas again. I just wanna make sure. Um, okay, so Lord's turn. Tongue lashing. Okay, good. Um, dualist advance, let's not do that. We could slice. 
Wicked Slice actually does more damage. Ooh, that looks cool though. Let's um let's finish off the livestock just to make sure. Woo! Righteous action. Okay. Um let's see. What else do we got in here? Let's try throwing a dagger. It doesn't do a lot, it ignores guard and um dodge i think and no it ignores dodge when self is stealthed okay which i am not <laughs> um can i do pick to the face um and maybe can i try and hit the butcher there we go okay let's do defender and we got to make sure this doesn't die he's a squishy boy um, okay, so car, which is perfect. He was going to hit Dismas, but they're bleeding. Or I'm going to have to have the Plague Doctor heal a bit more. I saw the Vestal isn't included, and she was always my go-to healer because she's so good of a healer. But, and, but my, I love the Occultist as a healer too, so I'm excited to maybe use him. Um, okay, so let's see. Let's try throwing a dagger maybe? Actually, pick to the face does a lot more damage, and I don't think it seems like does Lord have Lord has a lot of blight resistance, I think, right? Yes, he does have a lot of blight resistance, so we probably shouldn't try and poison him. Let's try and just hit the butcher, and we crit. That's really good. Um, okay, so we have to heal. Actually, who has less health? Um, twenty-eight. Also, him. These two are starting to get a little stressed. Which is understandable, honestly. Like, this is not, like, an anti-stress, like, situation. Okay. Um, let's see. What was I going to do? Okay. So, who needs a more? Okay. Um, Bar Barista has half of his health, and Dismas doesn't. So, I'm going to give Barista it, because he's already guarded. This oh, and it heals it! That's perfect! Oh, that's good! So I've cured his um, blood resistance. I'm just going to... Let's just finish off the butcher. Perfect. That's a lot of damage. Oh, they're friendly! Oh my gosh, that's fun. Okay, so he's healing the human appetite. Is he eating the corpses? That's bad news. Okay, so here, let me... Now, you don't have a lot of health right now, buddy. Also, he's getting tense. Uh, actually, they're all tense. <laughs> okay, so Defender, I'll block more and I can protect somebody. And Bolster, I can also block and I'll remove. And Target, remove vulnerability. Oh, it, oh, and, and I can remove any vulnerability of anybody in the party. I was reading it wrong. Um, let me defend. I just want to make sure Disney is okay. I really am afraid of that squishy, squishy boy. Here. Oh! Oh, they're amorous! Still beats. Desire will never die. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but is it amorous like kind of like a romantic thing? I'm not super sure it is. That's just when I think of it, that's what I think of. Also, I didn't realize how dummy thick Grave Robber is. Honestly, she almost has my body shape. <laughs> um, where we're just all thighs for days. Okay, so we. Can I, I, I can hit them, so let's mace them. Let's mace them. Let's, we just have to try and kill them as quickly as possible. Um, I'm going to do take aim to make sure the next one thing does a lot of damage. Um, and let's see. Fleshy backhand. Yikes. Oh, they got knocked up real far. You're a good one. Oh, that's nice. Um, so if I do hold the line... What does hold the line to you? Self. I want to go forward three. Oh my gosh, that's really good. Let's see that. Um, let's see. Hold the line. Move. Yeah, I want to do it. Oh, there we go. Oh, I did notice it hits them too. Okay. Um, that was my oopsie. Okay, so I can't use battlefield. Oh, I. I'm out. That's why I didn't realize it was temporary. Now, I don't- I think I blind them at some point, but they resisted this time. Okay. Um, Noxious Blast, which does poison, but I'm pretty sure they don't get poisoned very easily. Which is true, they got- they resisted it. Um, let's see, so... It's funny, 
Grave Robber is one of the only ones that has a healing move that I can really use right now. And I can't use it because she's like her, she's totally okay. Let's do another. Thrown Daggers has more crit. But maybe let's just try Mason them to the BCM. Corpulent enables a powerful skill. That's so sweet. Okay, so. Okay, so now they're all buffed. Let's do Wicked Slice. Ooh, 13! That's really good. And they lost some of one of their strips. Um, let's do... So... Let's see what's hard. We did upgrade um, Mace. So actually... And they saw block. So... Ooh, that did so much damage. Ooh! I like the relationship system. Violus Cannon. Thankfully, they only did three damage, but now they're blighted, and they got a lot of stress from that. To be fair, getting thrown up is. Oh, they're like, oh, oh, they're scared. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to slice you up, but. Persistence will overcome Ooh. even the greatest of threats. We got relics, silver spoons, and playing cards. Nice. Oh my god, I actually really like the, the additions that they made. To the game like let's see can i pause it yes um because i think that this was all i'm gonna play today i really hope you enjoyed it i really enjoy this new one it's very different in ways it's also really nice to be able to just go back in and really try something that i've been experienced that i've like played so many times that seeing it in this like new take is like really 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 fun so yeah, I the only thing I'm worried about is a big reason why I like the first game is because there's you can change the colors of a lot of characters, which I haven't tested. Um, and also the modding community is like really, really impressive. Like there's so many mods that come out for it. And I feel like that's because it's more simplicity of the art style while also um, it being completely 2D. With this being 3D and a more comp well, the art style's not too much more complicated. The proportions are more like realistic. Um, but it makes me a little worried about how the mind community of this game is going to be. I know that there's a lot of mind communities like XCOM that even though you need to do models for it and texturing and stuff, it's like we, they still get like mods. So it definitely is a possibility. I just hope that it happens. <laughs> so yeah, I love you. I love you and I want to love you too. Boo!